Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, everybody, so I am very sorry that this video is late. Um, the plan was for it to go out yesterday, but yesterday was my dad's birthday. So I had a lot of stuff to do. I spent his birthday with him, you know. I still have leftover makeup on my face from yesterday, so we love that, you know. By the way, today's story time might sound a little familiar because it was posted as a short form video, but now it is being turned into a long form video. So I apologize if you've already seen this, but I don't think you have because it only had 10,000 views. So let's hope that you didn't see it and this is new to you. I have to do a lot of things today. I have to get a shower. I'm going to try and get together all my meal plans. By the way, I was thinking if you guys want me to do like a maintenance day kind of video where like I show you guys, you know, my tanning routine and other things, you know, let me know in the comments because I don't know what you guys want to see, you know, if you guys want to see anything other than story times, but yeah. Now that I have all the old nasty residue from my makeup last night off my face, I am going to bring you guys up close. There we go. Okay, so a few things before I start today's story time. First things first, this story time was sent in by an anonymous person. And for most of the video, I will be looking in this direction because my mirror is over here and I would like to see what I'm doing. I do tell these story times in a first person point of view. So if you don't like that, then you can exit out of this video. Um, one more thing, today's story time might be a little bit shorter than usual. I know I always say this. And then it's like the regular length of a video, but just thought I should throw that out there real quick. Okay, so story time about how my best friend and I were dating the same guy. So a little background information, it was my freshman year of high school and I was 15 years old and I had been dating this guy who we are going to call Jacob. And we had been dating for about three months. He was a part of the popular group in school, but he was also known for cheating on all of his ex-girlfriends, including me. But why would I see that as a red flag? Um, probably because I was fucking dumb. That's exactly why. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Of course he was cheating on me and people would come up and tell me that he was cheating on me. At first I really wanted to leave him, but he was really cute and he came from a very rich family. So in reality, I only wanted to stay with him so that way he would keep spoiling me with extremely expensive gifts. He would literally buy me anything and everything that I wanted, so it was kind of like a beneficial relationship almost. Except while he was buying me things, I was getting embarrassed by girls coming up to me in school and being like, yeah, your man was texting me like that, you know? But it was worth it. At least that's what I told myself. So my best friend who we are going to call Taylor, she came over for a sleepover and the whole night we had talked about Jacob cheating on me and she asked me why I hadn't broken up with him yet. So then of course I told her why I wouldn't leave and she was like, period sis, do what you gotta do. Like no judgment over here, period. We love a supportive bestie. We love that. Well, then I came up with this super awesome plan for my best friend and I both to get gifts from him and use him for his money. And I had been thinking about this plan like all night while she was sleeping. I was like laying there, you know, like thinking about it in my head, you know. So I quite literally wake her up at like six in the morning and I was like, dude, you should be his side chick. She looked at me like I was a little bit psychotic not gonna lie she was like no anytime that i see this stuff in the movies it always ends up going wrong and i was like sis first of all this is not the movie second of all if you don't fall in love with this douchebag then we'll be fine so of course she says yes so she starts flirting with him trying to make him want her and I may have tried to give it a little push by giving her his Snapchat, his phone number, his Instagram, everything that you could think of. So she tries sliding in his DMs and then she tries like texting him on Snapchat. But of course the one time this would benefit me, he don't want to cheat. He was like, I'm with your best friend. I don't think we should do this right now, you know, da 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 da. But of course, like all men who cheat, he ended up meeting up with her. And they started, quote, 
sneaking around. Meanwhile, I literally knew all the tea. Like Taylor would literally text me when they were together saying what they were doing, text me pictures of what she just got, like shit like that. Eventually, she also started getting stuff from him 24-7, and he literally looked so fucking stupid. Well, eventually, we got bored with what we were doing, so we decided to fuck with him just one last time. We decided that we would both make a wish list and put everything that we wanted on there. And at the end of the month, we would have a sleepover and bring everything that we got. And whoever had the most things on their wish list won. I don't know what we were planning on winning, to be honest. Um, I think it was just part of our plan to mess with him one more time. Well, fast forward to the end of the month. We have everything that he got us at our sleepover. And let me tell you, it was insane i had a king size bed it filled up my king size bed there was shit all over the floor so what do i do i take a video of my room which is covered in gifts that he got us and might i just add like talk about trying to buy somebody's love it was low-key sad as fuck but not sad enough for me to take a video of it and post it on instagram tagging him and all of his friends I ended up writing a long paragraph about how he was a piece of shit cheater and that if you try to cross me, you won't win. He was so embarrassed. Uh, everybody at school was laughing at him as they should. Well, he ended up telling his mommy about it and his mom came to my house to talk to my parents and my mom decided to be a bad bitch. She was like, listen, your son did all this shit willingly. He seems like a douchebag. I don't know what you want me to do about it. Everything that was done is already done. So get the fuck off my property. Period. As she should. Not gonna lie, my dad was kind of mad at me, but my mom was super impressed. And we literally laugh about it all the time. Okay, everybody, that is the end of today's story time. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, maybe hit that subscribe button down below. If you want to send in your anonymous story time, make sure to click the link in the description. And if you guys want to see any other videos from me, make sure to comment them down below. Other than that, I will see you next Saturday with another video.